Hi guys, so in today's video we are going to test a new application called Displayland. This app actually functions as a 3D scanner and it's completely free. It's available for your Apple devices and it's thought that later, um, dates are unconfirmed, but this, this app should be also released for Android devices. Besides the fact that the app is completely free, it also allows you to download your project file as a 3D mesh in different file formats such as an OBJ format. It's going to make it possible for you to import it into other 3D applications such as Cinema 4D or 3D Elementor and to actually animate the file that you captured with this application. Professional 3D scanners are available on the market now, but they are actually very, very pricey and that makes it less available for the masses. I have also looked it up how much it actually costs to have a professional 3D animation get done by a professional 3D animator and the prices are crazy. Which I completely understand because learning how to 3D animate is actually a very time consuming project and you need to be aware of so many things to make it look very nice. So those people actually, they really worth their money. I am very curious how the file is going to turn out since this is a free app so my expectations are also not too high in this case. The upcoming video I captured a couple of days ago, I wanted to make a 3D file of my favorite plant in this house, probably also the last plant that's still alive in this house. Let's watch the video together and let's see how the file turned out. Just scratching the floor. This is going to be my subject, this beautiful plant. And I'm just going to walk around it and just try to make my surroundings and then yeah, we will see where it's going to take us. We're just going to go to plus. Um, we're going to let the app use our location. And see me? See this? Then we're going to big and it says capturing. Okay, I can already see the little dots everywhere. So before you start mapping your surroundings, you're actually supposed to think of the path you're about to walk. And once you get too close or you move too much, it's going to tell you on the screen to move back. See? It says minimum and maximum capturing, so we've already captured the minimum data we are supposed to capture. But we are going to go the extra mile. And I just walked and walked. That day was actually very good for my activity tracker. The system took roughly an hour to create the video and let's see the results. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the final product. I must say that I'm surprised how well it came out. As you can see, the main object, so the plant, came out the best. But I was also surprised how good the chair is displayed in this video. It's actually quite detailed, it's a lot more than I expected. It's not perfect, so I cannot say that it's going to replace any kind of professional 3D animator or a professional 3D scanner. The app allows you to crop it in the um, yeah, within the application. So I did, uh, this way I actually only kept uh, the tabletop and the plant itself. Afterwards, I also sent it uh, to my own email address as an OBJ file. Guys, so we've imported the file from this payland into Cinema 4D Lite. And as you can see, the texture of the plant is like the most acceptable in this case. And the rest of the image is just looking really rough. This is not what it looked like in the application. I have watched a tutorial. Um, hold up. Here from CG Shortcuts, I'm gonna link it into the description box. And they had the same problem, let's say in the beginning, as you can see, their texture is not really great. And then you can actually change uh, the um, display preview of the texture itself. And once you change it to 8K, then uh, the texture goes, um, changes into something very, very nice. And I have done the same in Cinema 4D Lite, but it has not delivered the results that I was expecting. So um, I don't know why, I'm thinking that it might be because I haven't done my best to capture the data. Uh, this is something for me to um, figure out, maybe um, as conform or you know, just go after the details. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, that you're going to give a try to this application, you know, practice a little bit with it and uh, practice makes perfect. Just give it some time. 
So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next one. Goodbye.